When you factorize a quadratic, you're taking this entire expression and representing it in two brackets. This is represented in the form as ax squared plus bx plus c, where the x terms are the variables and the letters are what are called the coefficients or just numbers. The first thing that you do is you multiply whatever the c term is with the a term. So in this equation, it is 1. So 6 times 1 is 6. And you would need to find out what all the factors of 6 are. So 1 times 6 equals 6, minus 1 times minus 6 equals 6, 2 times 3 equals 6, and minus 2 times minus 3 is 6. You won't need to do this entire tree for every single factorization, but for the first time, it's good to just lay them all out so you know what you're doing. Eventually, once you get good at it, you won't need to do this. You'll be able to see what the next steps are. Put a plus sign in between everything and then add them up. So 1 plus 6 is 7, minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7, <clears throat> 2 plus 3 is 5, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. So you're going to look down here and see which number is equal to the b term. So this is plus 5, so positive 5. So the one we're looking for is 2 plus 3, which equals 5. You can now rewrite this expression as x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. You now break this up into two parts. So let's take this part and this part. Just looking at this first part, let's factorize it. So x is the common term in both parts. So we can pull that out and you'll get x plus 2. Whatever is inside these brackets, replicate it again and place it here. So x plus 2. And now look at the second part. What do you need to put outside the brackets when multiplied in will equal 3x plus 6? It's going to be plus 3. Because if I do 3 times x, it's 3x, 3 times 2, which is 6. You now take everything that is inside the brackets, which should be the same, and place it once here. You take everything that is outside the brackets and you place it once here. 